Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. I know some areas are seeing rain right now, and my husband sent me a picture. My kids are out playing in it. They don't care. Yeah, some scattered showers across the area today, and they could be out playing in it because it was actually pleasant. Yeah, warm rain. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> some spring rain showers across northeast Wisconsin with temperatures back up into the 50s. Even warmer weather the next couple of days. Look for highs to be mainly in the lower half of the 60s. Mid to upper 50s Friday and Saturday, and then it looks like much cooler weather will return as we head into next week. And right now we're seeing much cooler weather coming in on a gusty northeast wind. 41 degrees in Fish Creek. It's 43 in the Marinette Menominee area, but we're still holding on the 54 in Wapaka, and it's 54 degrees in Watoma. Right now in Appleton, it is cloudy. The temperature is 52 degrees. We've got north winds at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Northeast winds are sustained at 10 miles per hour in Green Bay, where the temperature has now dropped down to 49. And we have mostly cloudy skies. Those clouds still producing some scattered showers across the area, especially from about Appleton south and east. You can see some scattered showers here from Oshkosh down towards Fond du Lac over towards Sheboygan. All this is moving south and east and should come to an end within the next couple of hours. Those scattered showers being kicked off by an unstable environment across eastern Wisconsin thanks to this trough of low pressure, which is now making its way towards Michigan. Later on tonight into tomorrow, high pressure will build in. And that's going to be our main weather maker. Underneath that ridge of high pressure today, temperatures were mainly in the 50s, but on the other side of it, with a southerly wind, temperatures climbed up into the 60s. And that warming trend is moving east for tomorrow across the central part of the country. We will be looking at temperatures running about 10 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. That means west of the Fox Valley, temperatures could actually get into the mid and upper 60s, 66 degrees in Pine River. Look for 66 in rural, 64 in Rush Lake. With that south to southwest wind, we're actually going to get a little cooling off of Lake Winnebago, and that will extend all the way up through the Green Bay area, upper 50s to lower 60s. To the north and north and east of Green Bay, temperatures will be in the 50s to around 60, thanks to uh, Green Bay and Lake Michigan. Precision cast shows clearing skies this evening, then some areas of fog developing overnight. That fog will quickly burn off as we head through tomorrow with lots of sunshine and dry weather, which is good news for the Peshtigo River near Porterfield. It's now under a river flood warning. We are looking at a Stage that is above flood stage right now, and the forecast calls for water levels to slowly rise as snow continues to melt. Your forecast for tonight calls for clearing skies, areas of fog, lows around 30. Tomorrow, windy and warmer. Look for a high right around 61. 63 on Thursday, showers giving way to sunshine, mostly sunny on Friday. Some showers late on Saturday, otherwise cloudy skies. A good chance for rain on Sunday. That rain could go over to some snow Sunday night into Monday. That's a system we'll be watching closely. And as you take a look at the rest of your 10-day forecast, you can see cooler weather returns for all of next week with below normal high temperatures. Did I hear you say snow? Yeah, it's April. Anything goes in <laughs> April, so there yeah. is that chance. We'll be watching it closely. We'll all have right. to wait and see. Yeah, we will. Let's talk about <laughs> Summerfest. Okay? They've announced their next headliner. And it's an annual no, especially if you're a fan of NBC's The Voice. The global icon is coming.